Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing System Malfunction, so let's get right into it. Alright, I'm preparing for my patrol time. I think I'm a security guard or something. What, am I, what do I have to do? Okay, I just need to pick up a flashlight. Now I need to check cameras. Camera time. Hopefully nothing happens. Why? What's the point of this camera? I can't see anything on it. A room with lights on? No. Alright. We're gonna have to put this guy down. He's got the lights on in his room and I don't think we're allowed to have that. Oh shoot. Someone's got a cart. My character didn't react to that. He was more upset about the lights being on in that room than the cart rolling out on its own. Okay, this floor is so much darker than the other floors, I swear. I cannot see anything. Can you pull out your flashlight? Oh, well this isn't that suspicious. I guess someone just forgot to turn off their computer. They left it on the static mode that, you know, computers generally have. Okay, he wants to keep looking around the room. The printer is running? No! I mean, someone probably is here. Oh wait, was that, was that all I needed to do? I just needed to see the printer was on? It was, okay. How did this guy slip out without me seeing him? Oh shoot, I'm in a cutscene, that's not good. Okay, why did you go into a cutscene to open the door? That's a little worrying. None of the lights on this floor work at all. It must be terrible to work here. Oh, the fan's running. I mean, that probably is good evidence that it's someone who works here, right? I'm hedging you were robbing a place and you turned on the fan because it was too hot. That would be a little crazy. Okay, I guess we're just slowly opening every door. Oh, there's a bunch of tools. They definitely have like a pair of scissors or something they're gonna attack me with. What in the world? Oh, there's blood on the ceiling? How'd that get there? A cardboard box with a bloody handprint? Well, uh, I think whoever's here is just in the vents. They're sus. It's, I think we could probably vote them out. Wow, he won't even check the woman's restroom? What? You have to be thorough. If they're hiding in there, they're just completely safe. I won't go in. Who's calling at this hour? Uh, so rude. Where's the phone, by the way? I can't find it, so. There are a few missed calls. Yeah, one of them is from, like, to literally five seconds ago when I just ignored the phone. Oh, hey, someone's on the elevator. That's cool. Get back here, bud. You think you're safe on the fourth floor? You're not. I'm gonna come find you. All right, this guy thinks he's real clever, doesn't he? He doesn't know who he's dealing with. I have a flashlight. It would be so easy for them to just get the jump on me. Unless they're standing the other side of a closed door. Then they're safe. Also, apparently I'm just having like flashbacks to before color was invented. You know, the dark times those days before they, you know, add the color patch to real life. I don't know if there's like an actual person in the building or it's supposed to be a ghost, but whoever it is they're I think it's pretty safe to say they're probably dangerous and I'm walking around here with just a flashlight, so. Like there was literally blood on the ceiling, so, you know, maybe I should be a little more prepared for a threat. This is a very rundown building. You know, maybe instead of having a security guard, they could have the floors in their meeting rooms repaired. What is this? I guess the security guard does seem needed because, you know, there is a person here. We just have to hope that person doesn't want to enter the woman's bathroom either, because if they do, they're completely safe from me, so. Uh, this door's locked. I guess there's nothing we can do. Off we go. Hopefully they're not hiding in there because then they're also safe. All they need to do to be safe from me is just lock a door and they're pretty good. I won't bother. Oh, this is worrying. Can I pick this up? That would be nice. I could like spray them down with it. Blood on the walls. All right, a classic thing that happens in office building. Clearly nothing to be worried about. This is a very long, very empty hallway. Why do we have this? There's no doors or anything. It's just an empty, long hallway. Think of all the room you're wasting. What in the world? Although I guess it just seems longer because my character is insanely slow. 
if I end up in like a chase against this guy, they're going to catch me or get away from me incredibly easy because I can't sprint. This is as fast as he'll go. Okay, no way. I'm just looping infinitely. All right, nice. That was a good use of my time. Yeah, I only went... Okay. It took barely any time to get back. Wait, in the... there was no floor in this room, by the way. Oh, wait, there isn't a floor in this room. Okay. What a wacky one. The floor collapsed and he dropped the flashlight down there? That was the only thing you didn't want to do. Now this guy just has free reign because, you know, obviously he didn't want to be in the flashlight beam. That's dangerous. Oh, uh, well, what are we going to do now? Now we're getting hunted by the shadowy figure and we don't have the flashlight. Probably go back to the basement and grab the other flashlight, I guess. Hey, look at that. They know how to turn the lights on in the basement. I can't even turn them off. They're built way better than the other lights. Oh, this door's open. That's always a good sign. The FOV is so messed up all of a sudden. It feels so narrow. I don't know what's happening. Okay, there's just nothing in this room, I guess. They open this door down here for fun. I don't know why he opens doors so slowly. It doesn't benefit him at all. Also, the flashlight's gone, so... Oh, there's definitely going to be someone in here. I couldn't enter this door earlier. Okay, well, I guess they just decided to move the flashlight in here. No! My boss is firing me. I can't believe it. Oh, what? Dang, who broke in? Yeah, I think getting out of the building is actually a good idea here. They managed to both turn off my phone and the lights at the same time. They've got like superpowers. Also, I guess they just kidnapped my boss. I don't know. <laughs> um, that was that was a little wacky. Luckily, I could read the encrypted messages he sent, though. He was clearly implying he wanted me to get out of the building when he said, you're fired. So, you know, we should be safe. And the elevator isn't working? Why am I going to the fourth floor? Why is it on the fourth? We're going to look around? No, we just get back in the elevator. Oh... This is the room where we keep track of the time. All right, I'll never forget the time in here. Oh, wait, is this... What? Someone got pushed down the elevator. All right, let's go check it out. Maybe it's like a vision of the future. That'll be me in like 10 seconds here. Oh, another red computer. These ones aren't fun. Okay, it wasn't that interesting. It was just two people here like in a conflict of some kind. The elevator's open. I think it's time to get on. Why am I going to five? Um, what if I just press the one button instead? I don't know why my character's pressing all these other floors. It's a little silly of him. At this point, I feel like he's choosing this on his own. Or I guess the elevator's just doing it for him. It's taken over. Hello? Anyone home? Gosh, I give them so much advanced warning that I'm going into a room. I'm like, sh oh. What in the world is happening? Yeah, I, it, my character is not feeling too helpful, I guess. He just tells me the computer is on. Okay, well, this is a weird room. I think it's time to go. Oh, never mind. It's not just the room. It's all the time now. What? Dang, they locked that door fast. I was, like, instantly there. Was that an eye? Okay, yep, that's a good sign. Let's just walk in the room and ignore our problems, I guess. It seems like the day shift didn't go too well for everyone else. You know, compared to them, I feel like the night shift is going relatively well. You still won't go in there? You're, like, being hunted. Maybe they won't go in the woman's bathroom either. Then you'd be safe. Oh, wait, a key card. All right, it's 0500, not the most secure code, but, you know, it probably works. There's, whoever typed that in was, like, in the middle of getting murdered, it seems like, so thanks for leaving me the door code, I guess.
Oh wait, there's probably... Okay, I bet there's other calculators with other numbers on them or something. Oh yeah, it's 3-5 for the code so far. There we go. Alright, that took a lot of effort. Finally got in though. Hello? Anyone in here? I'm assuming the key card room is where things really start happening. Okay, something's going on with the clocks. Uh, this seems to be tracking the time a little quick. Did it stop? Oh no. Alright. Time's still moving along at the normal speed. Hey, what in the world? There's an eye in the trash can. I don't think that's normal. I assumed I would get a key card or something, but it doesn't seem like it. There was a key card right here the whole time, and I need to be looking straight at it to pick it up. I searched for so long. That was actually like 10 minutes of just looking around that one room, basically. Oh my... Alright, next room. Yay! There better be something cool in here. Uh, it's a little bit more destroyed, I guess. Help me. Nice. Who do you think needs help? Uh, I got blood on me, I think. The edges of my screen are all bloody. Oh, dang. I guess they don't need help. Otherwise, why would they have put all the handprints over it? How did I, um... What is happening? I'm slowly becoming more and more bloody. Am I dying? What's going on? Is this room killing me? Get me out. Oh, shoot. Who's that? Oh, wait. My character can run? And when do I unlock this ability? Gosh, things got really bloody all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. What? What was that, Brian? What was he doing? Oh wow, we're going uh way down, pretty quick too. That's interesting. Oh, all right. I guess I uh, I beat the game. Cool. I just fell infinitely. It seems like. Alright, yep, that's everything. Well, that was pretty interesting. I enjoyed it. I could not find that key card. That just, it, it was very goofy. But otherwise, I think that was pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.